Devos. It's your girl. I hate to start saying the same thing. Every time I start a video, I'm going to just find like this new catchphrase. It doesn't even have to be a catchphrase, but it's just going to be something different. Like, what's up, y'all? Well, no, maybe not that, but I would definitely keep the same. I don't even know. I just know that I get tired of hearing my own self sometimes. So, yeah. There's a wig that I'm going to be doing a video on right about now. And I'm pretty sure you guys already know that from the thumbnail. This one is by the Zuri Sist Sister Wig Collection. This is their glam collection. This one is called Deluxe, all right? Um, I'm just going to tell you this really short story because, you know, I can really start talking. The color of the wig is fuchsia. I did a wig that was fuchsia by the same brand last year, a year ago, okay? And it just kind of looks the same to me honestly they kind of like mimic each other um it's pre-tweezed it's all fuchsia didn't have any dark roots on it or anything like that so they just sent it to me i requested this one this time but it's like that really pretty pink fuchsia color like i really do like the color a lot all right i'm not saying i'm gonna wear this outside like that but i think the color is pretty like you know what i'm saying for those of you guys who like pink hair it did not come with dark roots. There's a wide variety of colors, so it didn't come with dark roots. Me being old school that I am, I just really like for my hair roots to be dark. It don't have to be a lot of darkness, but I just know that I'm not growing pink hair out of my scalp. So I'm trying to fool everybody as much as possible. Meaning, I don't want you to really think this is a wig. You might think it's a weave. That's cool too. But I'm just really trying to camouflage, fool you guys, whatever you want to call it, prank you guys. That's what I'm trying to do with the wig. But in a classy way so that you guys don't be like, she knows she don't grow no pink roots. But if you, if you like pink roots, then that's you. But for me, I don't. I took my Sharpie, my good old Sharpie. You know, it's a permanent marker in the color black. And I went ahead and made dark roots with it. Looks really good, natural looking. You want to kind of like gradually go down a little bit. You don't want to have it like going around like a circle, a perfect bowl. Plus bam I did the outer portion too because I mean I'm saying like this is part of it okay so it is a pre tweezed wig I didn't have to tweeze anything that was remarkable and I did leave the lace on of course I'm not gonna wear it like that but I wanted to show you guys how I did it with the sharpie so that way in case you get a wig and it don't have no dark roots then you go ahead and get yourself a permanent marker and hunties you'll be just fine now I wouldn't say get a fine fine point one because if you get a fine point one then I guarantee you you're gonna be there all day markering it out so I got the chisel point tip and what I'm gonna show you guys all right so here goes the dark roots of it this is what I did and also I did the outer portion I mean you don't have to do all back here because no one's gonna see that but you definitely want to do the front roots so you're gonna take your marker Okay, so there you have it. Dark roots instantly. Use a good Sharpie marker. I'm not really sure if other brands will work as well and stay, but it is supposed to be a permanent marker. It may fade away a little bit. You may need to touch it up, but this is perfect if you have a synthetic wig and you don't have dark roots and you want dark roots, you can definitely get yourself a dark Sharpie marker and this will work perfect. There are two combs right here placed by the part. I'm not really going to tell you that I'm a big fan of the combs right here because I'm not. I really don't like the combs by the part because it kind of like leaves it a little bit raised up. So to me, it doesn't lay as flat. Um, there is a comb on this side and there isn't one on this side, but there is a comb and an adjustable strap in the nape. Let's go ahead and do this unit. <laughs> 
you guys so let me tell you guys it's so pretty the hair texture is so nice first of all I like when I get the wigs I told y'all this a million times when the hair texture is like that light yakky I think that's like the best texture for one also they don't tangle as bad as like the really really silky ones like I'll rock a silky one too but if I had a preference it would definitely be like the light yakky texture like you know what would be really cool amazing awesome and so like say you had a part you can choose which side you want your part to be on also you can choose the hair texture like for the synthetic wig it could be like silky or light light yakky that would be like really cool if they had like different you know what I'm saying different textures because all type of women wear wigs okay of every race every skin color so I think like it would be really great if we could choose like what type of texture we would want that particular synthetic wig in you know what I'm saying either silky or light yakky and left or right part that's it that's all I'm saying I'm not asking for a miracle I'm just saying like that would be like amazing with Zuri's wigs like with their sister brand I've always noticed that like the caps are a little bit roomy so if you have like a lot of hair like really thick hair or your head is like above average a little bit bigger it'll definitely feel the trick with the um, Sharpie worked out really good because, I mean, say, look, you can't even tell. I like it when it has a dark root. Of course, I did pull out a little bit of my hair in the front, and the curls were just a little bit more relaxed on um, this one. This side is like kind of driving me crazy because the curls just keep popping back. And for me, I like all my hair to go back in like a certain way. But the color is fuchsia and you can check this out. Hopefully I remember to post where you can pick this up at. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this particular color and fuchsia. This is not like an everyday color that I would wear every day. But I do like this maybe for like some photo shoots, some clothing videos or what have you. Something totally different brings out the spunk in my you know, spunkiness. You know, it is what it is. But I love you guys. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. Share it with the world because you guys love me so much as much as I love you guys. And I'll see you around in a soon-to-come video. Peace.